The bit of the brain we're interested in is actually plumb here in the center and the bottom. And why we're interested in that area is that's where a lot of the brain's reward circuitry is based. Food is obviously one of the most common biological rewards we encounter, but it's the same area of the brain that actually responds to other kinds of reward, uh, be they money, be they drugs, be they sex. It's telling you something coming in or something out there is pleasurable. It also is doing the computations that allow you to act upon that pleasure. Do I want to go and get it? The activity in this area of the brain just before Alison gets the milkshake tells Hisham how much she desires it. Alison is in a good mood for these first scans. But for the next stage, Hisham wants her in a very different state of mind. He's going to use a tried and tested psychological technique to induce a depressed mood. You may feel a little down, but that's the whole idea of this session. Alison's played sad music. And made to read statements known to make people feel low. In this mental state, she's again told to anticipate more milkshake. The scans are complete, and Hisham's experiment is over. Thank you. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's I was crying in there. Were you crying? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so, are you all right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the last time, just keep... Clearly, Alison felt sad, but what difference did it make to how her brain responded to food? Alison, what we have up here are a set of images of your brain when you were lying in the scanner. In a good mood, Alison's brain activity increased in various places, including the all-important reward circuit. The greater the activity, the brighter the colours appear. Red is a low score, orange and yellow are higher, and white is the highest. So this is actually fairly typical of what we'd expect in most people's brains if we were presenting them with something that they liked, like a chocolate milkshake. What I'm going to show you next is what happened after we did the mood induction, when you were feeling quite down. And again, we're going to look at your brain's anticipatory response when you were waiting for the milkshake to come with just the A on the screen. The reward circuit in her sad mood looks different. It glows bright white, far more intense than when Alison was in a good mood. <laughs> Gosh. In that negative mood, the value of that particular milkshake that you were about to get was much higher. That explains why, when I get upset, straight to the cupboard. Well, Biscuits. <laughs> it's fascinating, isn't it? So the big change we saw was in the anticipation. It was. It's quite extraordinary. 